Default text templates can be used in Visual Studio for code generation in a variety of different file types like CS, XML, SQL or any other text-based format. Text templates are code generators that can produce text files. The text can be for C Sharp, Visual Basic, SQL, XML and so on. The text template syntax consists of text blocks, code blocks and directives which help us in writing the code generation behavior. For our projects, sometimes we need to generate a class file or maybe XML file from any kind of data source like a SQL database or from any other XML file. T4 text templates can help us in creating a very efficient workflow for such kind of requirements. The examples where we need to use T4 text templates can be to generate a rule class, generate a data mapper or HTML reports and so on. In this short video, I will show you guys how to create a new text template and then use it to generate a C Sharp class file by reading data from XML file. And we can use a T4 text template to create a static class out of that XML file. The generated class code can be used across the project. This type of workflow makes it easier to generate code files based on very few inputs. Before we start to code our T4 text template, it is a good idea to install the T4 toolbox extension. It provides many features like multiple file code generation and syntax highlighting. You can find its URL in the video's description. This over here is a C Sharp console application and there is a class person. This person class has a bunch of properties like name, age and salary and there are conditions to validate the values. For example, if the name's length is more than 10, then a validation message will be printed on the console. As you can see right now the validation constants are hard coded and it is not a good idea to hard code these values because we may need to use them elsewhere in the project. So what I will do for this project is I will create a setup which will include a XML file to write the validation constant and their values and then there will be a T4 text template which will use that XML file to convert the validation constant and values and generate a C sharp file to hold the values in class properties. For that purpose, first I will create a folder in the project and let's just call this folder as validation constants. Now in this folder, I will create or I will add a XML file. So let's just do that. I'm going to name this file as constants.xml. Inside this XML file, we can write the validation constant values. So first we need to decide on a suitable structure of the XML format that we need to use to define and write the constants. For that first, I'm going to write a root element and let's just name it validation constants. Now inside this root element, we can have individual constant elements for each of the property and value and we can also define the type so that we can use that type to generate the properties inside the C sharp file using the text template. So for example, for the max age, we can create a constant element like this. This is going to be constant and we can first write the name of the constant. This is going to be person underscore max underscore age and then we can write the type of this constant so age is an integer so we can write int and finally we can write the value of the constant so the value or the max value which we are going to use is 50 like over here for age similarly we can create constants for name and salary too so i'm just going to add another one for the um, the name or the max name length so person underscore name underscore max underscore length this is going to be actually this will also be an integer and the max length is going to be 10 so the xml file has been created and now it's time to add a new text template so add a new item select text template and i'm just going to name it as um you know what let's just name it validation constants dot tt or text template click on add now these are the default values and i'm going to make some changes to these values first we need 
the host specific property as true because we will need the host property to fetch the path of our text template we will not need this system.core and we will also not need the system.link we also don't have any use for the system.txt because we are going to read the xml file and then use the values to generate the c-sharp code so the only things or the only namespaces which we are going to need for this text template are the assemblies for the system.xml and system.input-output or system.io so first let's just have the assembly for the system.xml so assembly and then name the name is system.xml.dll let's just close this one now we will not need the collections.generate2 so i am going to replace it with io because we are going to need it and we will need another namespace which is system.xml and finally we can set the output extension as cs because we are going to generate a c-sharp file so whenever we are using text templates to generate c-sharp file then it is always a good idea to tell everyone that this file is auto generated and do not make any manual changes because they may get overwritten so let's just write that message over here like this is an auto generated file and do not make manual changes right now inside it we are just going to write the code as a normal in text format and then we will insert code snippets and token snippets the code snippets will be to execute the code and the token snippets will be to replace those tokens with the property values the code snippets which i am talking about are called as a statement control block and they are compiled in the text transformation class the tokens which i am talking about are called as expression control block so any expression which is contained inside the block will be converted to a string value and it will be written to the output file so to generate the c-sharp file first we need to provide the namespace value and the namespace is console app one and now inside it we are going to create the declaration for a static class so um, let's just call this class as validation constants and inside this class we are first going to write a statement control block so let's just do that the first thing that i will do is to get the xml file name from which we are going to read the values for the constant name constant type and constant value and the name of the file is constants.xml so let's just have it in a string field so xml file name equals to constants.xml now we need to fetch the directory path of this file so string dir equals to system.io dot path dot get directory name now we can fetch the directory path of this constants.xml file by getting the directory name for this template file and we can do that by using this dot host dot template file because both these files are inside the same folder next we will fetch the path of the xml file so a string xml path equals to path dot combine and then first we need to provide the directory path and then the file name which is xml file name now it's time to create and load a new xml document so xml document doc equals to new xml document now we need to load the xml file so doc dot load provide the xml path we have loaded the document and now it's time to iterate over all of the xml elements which contain the validation constants so that can be done by using the for each loop so for each xml node node in doc dot child nodes so we are going to fetch 
the nodes which are in the first child node so that first child node is the validation constants so dot child nodes and now let's just open and close this block now inside it first we will fetch the value of the name element and then type and then value so xml node let's just call this field as c name equals to node dot select single node we need to provide the name of the node or the name of the element which is name and then we can write similar code for the type and for the value so type and value so far so good now it's time to first check if the text template file is generating the c-sharp code or not for this static class which is validation constants so i'm going to close this statement control block and after that we need to see if all of the blocks are being closed correctly or not i think they are now let's just save the code and now let's check if the file is generated or not the validation constants file so you can see this is the c -sharp file which has been generated and right now it is empty there is only a static class of validation constants the code which we have written over here is executing but right now we are not doing with any of these values so what we need to do is we need to write constant public fields for each of the validation constants and that can be done but first we need to close this block over here and then we need to write public and then const and this time we will first write the type of the constant and then we need to type the name and then we need to type the value so for that we will use an expression block this can be written in this way pound and then equals to and let's just close it to first now inside it we can first write the value of the type so we can type c type dot in our text and then we can provide the value of the name of the constant so for that we can type c name dot in our text and then finally after equals to we can provide the value and that can be fetched from c value dot in our text let's just save it so right now the tags are not really closed or the blocks are not closed correctly so this is why we are seeing this error message so what we need to do is we need to enclose this closing block for for each inside a statement control block and this is done now let's check what becomes of our c sharp file so this is the c sharp file and you can see that the constant fields are being generated but right now the semicolon is not there so i'm just going to add it by putting a semicolon over here let's just save it and check again so whenever we will save the text template then the code or the file will be generated automatically so now you can see that we have the constants for the person max age and person name max length which we defined in this constants.xml file inside this cs file now whenever we will need to add new constants then all we need to do is to write a new constant element and go to this text template and then save it and it will be generated automatically this is not a very good way to generate the code files from the text templates and there is actually an easy way available and that is to build or generate all of the text template code files whenever we will build the entire project that can be done by first opening up the project file in a text editor and then setting the property value transform on builds value to true inside it this can be done by first right clicking on the project and then clicking on open folder in file explorer this is the project file console app onecs proj and we can open it in any text editor i'm going to open it in visual studio code in this project file the first thing that we need to do is to go to the end and write some xml elements which is first importing the text templating dot targets and then we are setting a property value transform on build to true this simply means that whenever we will build the project 
then the cs file will be automatically generated so you can see right now there is no cs file over here i'm just going to first create this or generate this by clicking on run custom tool so i'm just going to delete this validation constants file and after pressing ok i'm just going to clean the project first and then let's just rebuild it so the class file is not here but let's just check the file system if it is in the folder or not this is the project folder and after opening this folder we can see that the class file is over here it is just not added to the project so don't worry whenever you will build your project then this class is going to be auto updated and i will show you by adding a new constant to this xml file let's add a new validation constant for the maximum salary for the person so right now this constant is not in this auto generated validation constants file and now i'm just going to build the project by first cleaning it and then let's just click on rebuild so after rebuilding it you can see that the constant has been added to this generated file and this is how the text templates can be used effectively in any visual studio project finally we can use these constants and we can replace the hard-coded values with these constants so let's just first write the name of the static class which is validation constants and then we can um, use the person name max length over here similarly for max age we can use person max age and for max salary we can use person underscore max salary and that is how we can have a very effective and efficient workflow for having the validation constants or for any other um, rule values which we need to hard code in our project and that's pretty much it for this short tutorial video on t4 text templates and with that i will take my leave from this video thank you so much for watching this video and if you think that you like it then please place a like on it and also hit the subscribe button this will make sure that you will always stay updated with the new video updates i will see you in the next video till then have a great day